Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this tutorial series on Unity 3D. So, what is Unity 3D? Um, Unity 3D is basically a game engine, okay? It's used for developing 2D and 3D games. Unity can also be used for high-end visualizations, it can also be used for augmented reality, virtual reality, and also um, for prototyping. It's a very good prototyping engine and come, it's used by a lot of teams. It's used also in education, for education, um, and doing a lot of cool stuff, okay? So, basically, we are going to look at how to get Unity onto our machine, since we know what Unity is used for, how to download Unity, and how to start building stuff with Unity. So, um, basically, Unity uh, supports both Mac and then uh, Windows. So if you're on a Windows machine, you can get Unity. If you're on a Mac, you're also cool to get Unity. So you're going to click on this button, getting started. Uh, and all right, so once you are here, you can see um, we can download Unity, but uh, there are some pricing over here. So we don't want to buy, we, we don't want to buy Unity. We want to use the free edition of Unity. Okay, but you can also equally buy Unity, okay? If you have the cash to do so, no problem. So, yeah, so this is Unity for businesses. So, if you are running a company, you can see it down here. Eligibility, eligib uh, hey, can't I pronounce this word? Uh, all right, eligibility. All right, yeah. So, it says revenue or funding less than 200K dollars in the last 12 months. So, if your company is making less than this, you can then you can pay forty dollars a month for Unity, or you can also look at the annual plan. So you pay three nine nine dollars a year, and this is like if you're making two hundred k above. All right, so that's one fifty, and annually will be uh, thousand eight hundred dollars. So we don't we, we 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 are not making more than this. Obviously, many people trying to learn Unity uh, don't really make this. You are just learning Unity. You don't have the cash to do this. So. Once you learn Unity and maybe you are you, you start building stuff, start making more money, then you can just purchase the Unity Plus or Pro. So we click on this tab, Individual. So we were at Business, now we move to Individual. Once at Individual, we have the Unity Pass now. And there's a Unity Premium. Now with a Premium, what happens is uh, we can subscribe to the monthly plan on $15 a month or the annual plan on uh, like... $99 a month and uh, $99 a year and what happens is Unity is going to have like live sessions with certified instructors from Unity uh, you can have on-demand content you are, can have resources and they are going to like help you learn Unity so like you grow you grow with them like they teach you Unity so for, for like $99 a year so uh, we don't want that either we want to learn Unity ourselves so I'll take you to Unity, uh, how to build your first game in Unity and how to start doing stuff. So basically this is going to take you to uh, Unity. So there is this uh, personal edition which is free and then we are going to click on get started. So once we click on that, we should be here, right here at this page. Uh, over here there is like first time users. And then there's returning users. So if you're a first time user, this is your first time using Unity, you can click here. But if you are you already know how to use Unity, you already have experience using Unity, and uh, just maybe you change your machine and you, you kind of like want to download Unity to a different machine you're on right now, you can go here. So uh but we, we, we are going to go here, we're going to download as though we are, we are returning users. But if you download as a first time user, what happens is Unity is going to take you through stages of building a game like this over here. You say pick a micro game. So they have different micro games. They have the cotton, they have the platformer and the FPS. So you kind of like choose one of these games over here and then you start building. You start building and then at the end of the day you can build something like what you are seeing in the images here. And you can also share your game. So you say share your playable game. So you can also share with friends and then uh, and family so you could go for that but in this course I'll be teaching unity so you don't really need to go through this uh, process but if you also want to 
have it like as as in you also want to uh, really broaden eyes. You like should broad your knowledge. Like you want to have a broad perspective of what Unity actually is. You could also go here and then also learn and also follow my tutorials at the same time. So we are going to go here, click on it, and then we should be here. It says getting started with Unity Pest now. All we need to do is click here and accept the terms and then download Unity Hub. So I already have Unity Hub, so you just click and download it. Once you download Unity Hub, uh, you just follow the normal installation step as though you're installing any software. The normal steps, next, 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 finish, and then you install Unity. So once you are done, you can open Unity Hub. This is Unity Hub here. This is my Unity Hub. And then uh, over here, you can see projects. I have some Unity projects I've built, so you can see them all here. And then now, once you have that uh, set, you got. Um, uh, you need to download Unity. Okay, so once you have Unity Hub, now you need to download Unity. Now we'll go here to this tab, Learn. When you click on Learn, Learn actually features like Unity projects. So what you can do is you could download this project and start learning how to build these projects from with Unity. So these are already made projects from Unity, but it will show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to achieve what they've done over here. So you are going to build it from scratch. You are going to learn how they did it. So they are going to take you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to acquire what you are seeing here. And then there, you see these are the projects and there's also tutorials. So you can go through a list of tutorials and then learn how to use various parts of unity like using the unity interface and all that so yeah you can also go through these tutorials but don't worry i'm going to cover all these things in this tutorial but you can also learn it and that will be a plus for you so but you don't also need to worry yourselves on this so that's it now to get unity uh you have to go to installs so now once that installs you have to download unity and install a unity version Right here, I have three Unity versions. I have Unity 2019.2 and then two versions of, two different versions of Unity 2018. So I already have downloaded and installed these Unity versions. So how do you get Unity installed? How do you get these versions? So you go here, click on Add. Once you click on Add, you select a Unity version, okay? So once you select a Unity version, you click on Next, and then you download, you select, the components of unity you want so I advice you click you, you add a documentation to help you reference various uh very it's a it's good place to like reference various stuff you do in unity so most of the stuff you do you 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 you, you, have, you sometimes have to reference them in the documentation so webgl support i think i'll leave it uh webgl support is for you to build your games to the web browser like webgl like yeah exactly to the web browser so an android build support helps you to like build your games to android phones like android devices so once you have those and then you need also this over here microsoft visual studio that's used to like write your code like write your codes that uh, are going to function in your game so codes that will provide certain functions in your games use microsoft visual studio to like kind of write those codes so you can also download iOS build support if you want to build to uh, iPhone, iOS, like, yeah, basically uh, iPhone devices, like iOS devices. So, and then there is a lot of, if you want to build to Facebook, Facebook game room, uh, a lot, a lot of places you can build to. All right. So then you click on next to acquire. I already have Unity downloaded. I already have gone through all this. So these are the basic things you have to do get your visual studio for writing your code and all that this might take some time to download you can see it the size of each of the individual components this 1.4 gig and then you can see the size of this the size the download size and the install size so once you download this is what you get after you store this is the size so once you select the component you can see each component's download size and install size so you need a lot of space on your machine uh, so yeah over here it tells you the total space required is like 11.4 gig so you need to make that ready you need to be able to sacrifice 11.4 uh, gig for unity so once you are done we can follow on the next tutorial and then start 
doing stuff with Unity. Thank you and see you on the next one.